Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey, and welcome to my Let's Play of Total War Room 2. So I cannot tell you guys how much I've been looking forward to this game. I am really excited. Uh, it's about 9.30 a.m. here. The game was released about half an hour ago. Had to do some unpacking and all that stuff, and obviously starting up the game and testing some things to get the uh, recording all set up. But I am ready to go right now. So first thing I'm going to do uh, is this little uh, prologue Let's Play, which is going to probably be around three parts. Uh, they said it's going to be around three hours long. Obviously my videos are about an hour long each. So I'm going to do that first. Uh, after that I'm going to do a campaign on Room. Um, also doing co-op let's play several of them, uh, but you'll see that all very shortly. Um, anyway, I want to just jump into this game. I have not played any of it, just a little um, benchmarking, seeing how the recording goes. And um, can't play the game on high settings, not a whole lot of people can, obviously. Um, but it's on, the, it's on high settings, not the highest, but on high, so it's not horrible. Anyway. Let's uh, get going. So we've got uh, three battles. Uh, the Siege of Capua is the first one. Battle tutorial, it is 316 BC and the fledgling Roman Republic is engaged in a long and deadly war against the Samnite peoples of the hills and the mountains of central Italy. The campaigning season has just opened and in a bit to gain an initiative, both consuls Lianus and Rutilus have marched out at the head of a combined army. News has just reached Rome that this army has been defeated in the field. Consul Rutilus is reported captured by the Samnites and the remnants of his consular army, army are now besieged at Capua. A call to arms has been sounded to any able-bodied men to assist Capua's plight. Tribune Gaius Fulvius Salanus, Salanus, commander of the grain store at Terracina, prepares to mobilize his garrison troops in response. Alright, sounds good to me. Loading screens, just like in Shogun 2, might be a tad long, but um, there's not much I can do about that. It's just how it's going to be, and I don't really feel like adding to, adding, editing, editing, wow, holy shit, my speech right now. Editing all of them out, because um, that would take forever, and I probably would miss a few anyway, so. Just going to have to deal with it. Anyway, there we go. The beaten army of Consul Linus lies under siege in Capua. I, Gaius Fulvius Silanus, have hurried south with my meager command to aid the Consul. Further reinforcements are expected from Rome. The city has been sighted. It is surrounded by the Samnites, a people native to the mountains of central Italy. Samnites are sworn enemies of Rome. Capua is in sight. Report. All right. Uh, advance headings in the prologue can be oh uh, yeah whatever uh, encyclopedia. We don't really care about that right now. So it seems like we only have four units to begin with. Um, I'm sure we'll get more along the way. Tribute Silanus. The Samnite army are massed on the hills around Capua. They are preparing an attack. See for yourself. I will see for myself. Right, so uh, just uh, to clarify, the prologue is basically a lot of uh, tips and tricks on how to start playing the game. So it's it's all going to be pretty easy to begin with, uh, and I'll obviously change when I get into a proper campaign. But for now, it's all just tutorial and all that sort of stuff. But I want to play through it in case like all the new things that are in Rome too. I want to see them as well before I hop into an actual campaign. The river crossings here have been destroyed by the defenders. May the gods be with them should the enemy attack. Okay, so look over here, the main army. The consul and his remaining forces have garrisoned the city. Linus means to stop any assault at the river, but he's vastly outnumbered. I fear he will be overwhelmed. Ah, he'll be fine. So look at this massive army over here then. The Samnites prepare their attack on the hillside. Their numbers are too strong for us to consider an engagement. I have enough men to defend a grain store, not assault an army. All right, and last but not least, over here. The Samnite siege engines fire on the city, weakening the will of the men within. If we can get to them, we can halt the bombardment, but they are well guarded. Tribute Silanus, the men are reporting sounds of a skirmish ahead of our position. Some Romans in this village have been confronted by Samnites. They're outnumbered, but our troops can tip the balance. Move out! Alright. So, uh, something that's new in this game is when you click once, 
Uh, Our spotter suggests oh, there are mind. five enemy units around the village. Look for their blue banners. Supposedly, when you uh, click once now, they start running automatically. Um, and you, when you click twice, Quick march. they uh, are supposed to be walking. But for me, that seems to be different right now. So I'm not sure what's, uh, what's going on with that. But we're going to run over there anyway because we need to sort of help out these guys over here. So. We're under missile fire. Are they getting Double attacked? Time. Oh, and I, I don't think we're actually going to be able to get to them unless we go around this hill. So we're just going to have to take the brunt of the force right now. I think we have a... I don't know if this is already in the tutorial, but we have a um, Testudo. Yeah, defensive Testudo. I guess we could use that, but I'm not really interested because it looks like these guys are on the move and they're going to get murdered by us in a minute. So that's all good. So we have anyway, we have a, a unit of tri a Triari E. I've, yeah, it's another thing. It's apparently pronounced Triari E instead of Triari I. Uh, and we have three units of Astarte. Draw swords, man. Charge! Charge! All right, let's do that. So this unit's coming down towards us, which is a unit of Levy, uh, Levy Slinger, so that's we all good. We're gonna keep these units, uh, keep them moving forward. Astarte! Yeah, these Slingers should be dealt with pretty damn quickly. Because obviously, they are but Slingers. The enemy must be routed. Target their flanks or attack them from behind. Yeah, yeah. I'm working on it. Throw them in there. Probably throw these guys in there as well to deal with these units and then move on towards their uh, other levy, uh, unit of levy slingers. Then again, probably move them around actually. Let's see how it's going over here. These guys are done. Well done. Is there anything I should do about this unit? Probably. Sap them run over there. The Samurai infantry is strong, but their men are no match for Roman soldiers. So far, really liking the way play uh, the game uh, the way the game plays right now. Okay, you guys are gonna attack these slingers, aren't you? Just uh, hammer and anvil them here, even though we have two melee units, but count and hammer hammer and uh, hammer and anvil anyway. Jupiter, Where are you going? Oh, they managed to go around anyway. Whatever. These guys are about to be smashed in the back here, so it's all good. Do we need to get rid of this. Silanus, no, I guess not. The will of our allies is breaking. They begin to flee. It's fine. These guys are getting murdered by Levy Sling as well. If you guys watch out though, because I don't really want to lose my men here, that'll be good. Right, these units are now getting overrun here. Just a bunch of slingers. They're not going to stand against my uh, Hastati and Triari. That's the last of them. No more guarding grain stores. They're meant for this. The slingers in the village are in our debt. They pledged their allegiance and have joined our ranks. Sweet. Just like that. The Sound Knights move on Capua. Defend the bridges to the last man! Capua must not fall! I'm a little disappointed. The game... All right, men, listen up. I'll tell you in a second. We're up against it. The Sam Knights have moved to attack, and it's too late to attempt to cross to intercept them. We're gonna get rid of their reinforcements. The enemy siege weapons are still troublesome, but now the Sam Knights have left them relatively unguarded. Let us strike there. What a great idea. Oh, look at that. We're all formed up. What's this unit over here? Italian Swordsman. Right, so we got actually... Yeah, the units that they had left, uh, and this one's like half dead, yeah, more than half dead anyway. So we've got our Triari, we've got our three Astarte units, now we've got one Italian uh, Swordsman unit as well, which I'll probably not use a lot because he's badly hurt already, and two units of Levy Slingers, so let's um, start moving up here through the forest. And you guys can stay behind them. Oh, this is what I love as well, I've seen this before. If I hold space... Like in in all the other games, it does the same thing where you can see uh, where your units go, are going to be, but now you actually see like the silhouettes of your soldiers, which is really cool in my opinion. Anyway, we're going to move you up as well. Just up to there. Double time. I actually didn't mean to run all of you, so you can stop running. Um, right, so yeah, what I was going to say is that I'm a little bit disappointed by... I mean, the game, obviously, if you put it on extreme setting, looks a lot better. But now I feel like I have to put it lower than I had it on um, on Shogun 2 and the game looks worse and it runs less 
uh, well as well. I mean, I'm on 25 frames right now, which is fine. It's usually the case with Total War games, and on the video, you really don't even notice it. When you're playing the game yourself, it's always a little bit worse. Uh, I'm actually going to run these guys because... This forest will cover our approach if we move with care. Oh, okay, well, in that case, the let's not run. To our advantage. Yeah, I thought maybe we had to hurry up. Yeah, these, these, um... These, uh, ballistas or whatever they are. Yeah, they are ballistas. They're just shooting randomly. They're not shooting units or anything, so it's not like we're losing anything right now. Or our allies are losing anything. But yeah, here you can see as well, two trees are right there. If I move closer, or well, more than two trees, actually, you see them popping up. It's a little annoying. I might have to fiddle around with the settings a little bit more, but... I mean, it is smooth enough for me to play like this. It definitely is. But obviously, um, I would like it to look a little bit better as well. Anyway, um, let's see. I kind of want to get my levy slingers up there first. Oh, this is all uh, shrubbery and stuff, so we can actually hide in here. The zooming in function is a little bit different as well. If I'm looking down like that and then I zoom in, the camera like sort of adjusts itself, so it zooms in a little bit weird. Oh well, all stuff that I have to get used to. Not a big deal. Um, but I think I do want to actually run up here. These are the slingers for now. We have a height advantage as well, so if they decide they want to come up the hill and face us, then they're welcome to do so. Uh, and we are still out of line of sight as well. This thing is shooting in range pretty damn soon. Let's see what these slingers are going to do damage wise. They have a bunch of Italian spear uh, swordsmen, even. Oh no, they have spearmen and swordsmen, right? And obviously, they're at eight ballistas. Two full units. All right, so you guys need to move up just a tad further here. March! I'm gonna walk them now. Oh, actually, they have. Looks like they may have already seen me because they are moving away for some weird reason. Uh, no, it's moving slightly in the middle of them. I think our job is to actually take care of the ballista, so we might just want to take care of them right away. Then again, their men are probably gonna come up the hill soon. So let's have uh, you guys as my. Marching Regular force. The These guys on the flank here. On me. Quick march. And my swordsman on the other flank. Like I said, I probably won't use them because they're quite low in men already. Levy. Are they uh, actually hidden? Can you see like them hiding and all that? Yeah, they look pretty much in a hidden formation-ish thing. Right, so... Uh, nearly in range. I need to move up a little bit more. March. Let's do some damage. We can hit these guys in the back as well, that'll be great. Oh, here we go. Our Italian swordsmen are not gonna have any of it. Uh, Our slingers can be placed upon the hill to rain fire upon the enemy below. Keep them out of the fray. Oh, no, they're not coming. They don't really know what they want to do. Oh, maybe they are coming. Samnium shall fall, sons of Mars. Swords! Swords, what are you doing over there? Destroy oh, yeah. those siege weapons, man! Fuck up, you are! <laughs> what he said, fuck up, you are! Alright, are you guys can actually shoot her. Do I have to tell you? I mean, yeah, they are shooting. Cool. Lovely. And uh, they're not doing a whole lot of damage. Of course, they are wearing armor, so I'm not too surprised. And they're. Oh, it looks like they're actually moving in a defensive formation as well. Well, let's get our. Actually, we just need the one unit here. At speed. Orders. We are, of course, slingers, so I don't really want to be ahead of my men. Because that, of course, will mean attacking Testudo. Yeah, do that. Get them in the rear. Have them intercept these guys. Have them run around here. Attack these guys in the rear. I am ready. I am ready. Right, we can use Italian swordsmen in there a little bit as well. Their Italian spearmen are already routing, or well, wavering right now. They are gonna route pretty shortly, I would reckon. I'm gonna have these guys actually shoot the ballistas because otherwise I'm just gonna be shooting my own men in the back. They're routed, everyone's routed. Lovely, so actually we can just get in there. For glory! For glory! So what does he uh, use the whip? What does it actually do? Improves attack and fatigue resistance for a short time. Melee attack, weapon damage, fatigue resistance. 
Alright, that sounds pretty cool. And these guys have attacking Testudo, armor strength, shield strength, uh, minus acceleration and speed. Cool. And use the whip. Yeah, same thing as before. And then these guys can do defensive Testudo. Bracing, armor strength, shield strength, but they can't move. Alright, that's good to know. And the rapid advance, yeah, probably is speed, acceleration, charge speed. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, nice. Alright, so this should be basically dealt with. We've, uh, there we go. Lena's defenses are crumbling. The Samnites are crossing the river. There's a lot of Samnites. We cannot wait for reinforcements, men. We must act. All trained for this day. Now there is an enemy before us, and glory to God. I may not be a general, but the gods honor me by allowing me to lead you on this day. Now advance! Ooh, do we get there? No, we don't. That would be amazing. Alright, so are we seriously just charging right in there? Alright, spearmen up front, because they seem to have some cavalry. You guys get behind them. Giant swordsmen behind them. You guys right behind them. And I guess I can just group them up. And that doesn't work. Okay, good to know. I see a shallow ford across the river, which will give us passage into the city. Forwards. Yeah. All right. Um, we await the enemy. Can we still have options like we did? In, it doesn't look like it in Shogun 2, where you just move your men in a straight line forward. Uh, that's a little annoying because I put them in a group, but normally when you put them in a group, then this should be the same formation, but it doesn't do that in, in this case. So, anyway, we want a passage into the city, so we're just gonna move our men up normally then. I'll just take them out of the group again, because there's no use in having them in the group if they're not gonna work. It does look like these guys are still coming for me, so I wanna see if I can intercept them here. Because there's a bunch of cavalry, we don't wanna have them take us down here. Orders. Looks like they might be trying to double, flank us. We do have a bunch of cavalry over here as well. At the devil. I am right. death and glory. We should be able to take out that cavalry unit pretty soon. Swords. The entire swordsman can help out over there. Gives us and Melee yeah, there's a bunch of cavalry here. Of course, these are just the Stati, so this isn't great, but just gonna have to deal with that. Charge in there. Use the whip, why not? Take some of them down as well. Levy you guys slingers. shoot those. Oh, it's just a mob, so they're gonna probably route pretty damn soon. Not Men killing these Italian time. cavalry as fast as I would like. And that mob is hmm, not taking a whole lot of damage, but it's not bad. Again, it's just a mob, so. Oh, it is a bunch of any or a friendly Astati that actually routed. Mob, yeah, they're dying really fast, and these guys gave up, so we can charge them in there as well. Okay, got rid of the other cavalry unit here as well, so this should be over. There we go, soon, as in now. So let us go over. Actually, I just will do that like that right now because I don't think we have to deal with any of this stuff. Although it looks like they might be coming for us, possibly. I do like how the units look though, they look pretty cool. I mean, those guys, the Levy Slingers, just have a shield and a sling and some rocks and that's it basically. Like, they don't have any armor or whatever, they just have a robe on, which is just awesome in my opinion. Anyway, I'm not sure what our actual mission is right now, besides getting over the bridge. Uh, to give us passage into the city forwards, okay. And again, I'm not sure if I should be running my men. I don't really see any fatigue uh, meter right the now. The Samnites push towards the center. If they capture the city, all will be lost. All right, here we go. Exhausted. Uh, only one. The rest is mostly fresh. It's interesting. It's either exhausted or fresh. No winded or anything in between. Uh, right. Uh, if they capture the city, all will be lost. So we are going to obviously defend this or inside the city. I mean, this probably doesn't seem like a very good the idea. The consul and his men will be overpowered. We must come to their aid. Um, but where? Where do you want me to? Do you really want me to go over here? Because that really doesn't look like a good idea to me. These are a lot of men, some mobs mostly, but between swordsmen, a bunch of units. Oh, I guess they're not crossing most of those men over the bridge, so they probably do want us to go here. All right, let's do that. Um, Looks like we might be able to set up our slingers here already. Double time. Get our Italian swordsman in there. Uh, Italian swordsman. 
Triari, I mean, these are my entire swordsmen. Actually, some of their units are already wavering and routing as well. They have some pretty good units over here. Stati, Stati. Hmm. But we are just in time because they are just about to get onto the capture point. We cannot let that happen, of course. Attack, man! Your console watches over you. Oh wow! Strike down the Actually, see invaders. allies remaining. No Sand knights remaining. That's pretty cool. There's Fiori somewhere in there as well. Italian swordsmen, why not? And my levies can go over here, so they've got a decent shot. Ready and waiting. Ready and waiting. A lot of units. You can't really get any flanking off here except with these units, but there's not a lot of you, a lot of them. All right, get them in the side. I'm sure they're gonna bring up more troops soon. Yeah, a bunch of mobs coming around. The Samnites press further into Capua. They threaten the center. Do they know? Where? Oh, what's going on? The siege weapons on the walls can repel them. See to it. See to it. All right. Where you at? There you are. Uh, who, who do you want me to shoot right now? How far do you shoot anyway? And I can't really see. There's so many freaking things that I don't really know. Anyway, do we have any more? Uh, it just looks like we only got the one ballista on the wall here. The rest is still the en the opponents. Uh, there are allies, I mean. Um, just fire at will, I guess. Doesn't look like I can. I can. Here we go. Tribune, uh, quick reload. our allies begin to crumble. Hope is fading. That's not completely fine here. Uh, we should Samuel help out that guy Keep fighting, men! Live or keep die, we men. will find glory! Probably. Then again, we might just find death. Who knows? It's not a written script, is it? Well, actually, it might be. An army approaches. Tribune, I think the banners are Lucanian. Reinforcements! Our allies, Roman and Lucanian, rally to our aid. Take heart, men. The gods are with us. It's just like Helm's Deep. <laughs> All right, uh, let's set up our ready. forces again. That probably means they're going to bring in some more stuff in a minute. Yeah. Jupiter gives us strength. Jupiter's cock. Let's have you up the front. At the double. Your orders. Advance at speed. Astati. I don't know if they want us to advance upwards or just sit here because they're just gonna route a whole bunch of stuff here. Mostly lovely slingers, mobs, bunch of ooh, Italian noble infantry. They might be better than the regular no in Italian infantry. Swordsmen. Yeah, a bunch of mobs and all that. Italian spearmen, Italian swordsmen. Well, you know what? I'm sitting quite well over here. I don't really uh Actually yeah, maybe we do actually have to go over there. It says Oh, a battle will be won once you've murdered everyone. So let's murder everyone. Let's have these guys move up as well. Double time. Double time. Swordsman. Wow, these 40 Astadius is going to get in there, aren't they? Italian swordsman. Italian noble infantry. Let's have a look at those noble infantry. They might look pretty cool. Yeah, they do look pretty cool, actually. You're so noble, aren't you? Alright, cool. Let's make our way over here. Ah, there's our allies. They're gonna squash these guys like a bug if they come over the bridge. Samnium shall fall. Uh, you guys start shooting the spearmen. The units should be gone fairly shortly. We have a lot of units around them, and he's gonna get, like I said, cavalry's gonna come in the rear as well. Uh, if you guys stay over there, that'll be good because I don't need you over here. Okay, I am ready. these guys are dead. Quick march. Let's uh, put you up front. And uh, we need a rapid advance actually charge in there. Let's, let's have a look at that. Quick these guys march. around here. And we guess we can use the whip again. We'll reduce some fatigue, which uh, I don't know if we have any. Yeah, this guy's quite tired. Yeah, I might as well. Get moving! Get moving! Oh, these guys just routed. Day. That was pretty damn quick. Holy shit. Yeah, everyone's riding. I guess uh, they're afraid because they're losing the battle now. That could be why they're riding. Toy and Noble infantry might 
be a little bit heavier to uh, route, but that's all right. We okay. await the enemy. You guys can get in there, please. Let's move these us. folks up. Advance and my Italian swordsmen are being useless over here as well. Again, there's just a few of them. I don't really want to put them in any danger. Astarte. Pull back! Pull back? No. Attack them in the rear. I am being shot by these lovely slingers over here. I'm too happy about that. You. Deal with them. What's this over here? Oh, yeah, artillery, which we didn't really have to use at all because I don't know what to use it on. We never really had anything to shoot, did we? Unless we can shoot all the way over here. Which, in that case, go for it. Oh, it does look like you actually can. Well, I guess I should have used them a little bit before then. Did he actually shoot? It looked like his thingy went, but whatever. Not interested. Wow, these noble infantry really are quite good, actually. Wow. I'm losing my uh, Italian swordsman unit a little bit here. Advance! Uh, you guys shouldn't be in there. Are you over here? Yeah, go attack them in the rear. Oh, actually, I think they're out. Well done. I am ready. I am ready. I am losing a lot of men down quite low at this point. Bring them under the bridge. Only eight units left. A lot of them are mobs and slingers and things like that, though. So I don't think we'll have too much of a problem here. What's this unit? Italian swordsman. We uh, await the enemy. Actually, yeah, you guys should be in uh, Testudo attacking Testudo. To attack. Form Testudo. Uh, oh wow, they're already Rubble all routing. Glory. I think if we hit these guys, uh, kill a few men, then they'll probably route right away. Swords. Yeah, this unit, you need to get over there as well. Not Yay, the there Samuels we go. Make their retreat. The day is ours. The day is indeed ours. That was a good victory. I'm sure it was meant to be this way, though. You should probably stop fighting. Costly victory. You're victorious, but at what cost? Many have paid the ultimate price. Of course they have. I nearly clicked rematch. Right, so that was the first um, part, I guess. Well, it's not the first part. I'm not going to end the campaign or the uh, prologue here, but or this video here, anyway. I've only been doing like 20, 25 minutes or something. Anyway, um, that was the first battle, I guess, of the prologue. That's what I meant to say. And now we are at the defense of Campania. I do believe there's also some actual uh, campaign map on this as well, though. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen right now. And there's probably some cutscenes, too. I was actually surprised there wasn't a cutscene at the beginning. Because this has Mark Strong in it, which they made a big deal out of. So um, there's definitely going to be some sort of cutscene-ish. Cut cutscene anyway... Defense of Campania. Come on. Give it to me, Realm. Uh, I gotta love the loading screens on the Total War series. I think, although, I, I feel like uh, Shogun 2 was worse than this game. I mean, I haven't played this game enough, obviously. I only played for like half an hour now, but... I feel like Shogun 2 was worse. Here we go. Tribune Silanus. News from Rome. Following the capture of Consul Rutilus and the passing of Consul Linus at Capua, the Senate have moved to grant you emergency powers to command the defense of Campania. Your intervention at Capio saved the settlement and has earned you the highest praise on the Senate floor. Oh, that's nice. I appreciate that. Right, uh, campaign maps of theater in which aren't... Yeah, that's all. Okay, fine. Right. This is no time for celebration, however. The situation remains grim. Survey the map for your... Capio has yet to. to recover from the siege. The settlement cannot withstand another attack. Sorry, I didn't mean to actually go into that. Anyway, uh, Bovanium. Bovianum is oh, the Bovianum. capital. Oh, right, yeah. Reports indicate that Rutilus is being held here. We face a long war before we can hope to free the consul. There is a very likely possibility that I'm going to mispronounce something, so please... Don't make a big deal out of it. You can leave it in the comments, of course, and I'll um, try and not do it again in the next uh, part or episode or whatever. But, of course, there's always a chance that I will mispronounce things. Anyway, Roma. Rome is well protected from attack by a line of hills running inland. Any Samnite assault must come from the south through Capua. All right. This is actually things that we saw in, or what well, you may have seen in, um, when 
uh, Al Bickham or whatever his name is from uh, Creative Assembly did a few um, things on the 1st of August with some websites like IGN and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, uh, right, so what do, what do you want me to do right now? I guess you want to just continue on. Bovianum, what's going on here? Be advised, the Samnites raise more armies against us. Fetch your swords. The Samnites dare to challenge us again. It will be five seasons before they reach Roman territory, but we have little defense in place. We must move to protect Capua while we still have time. All right. I Capua can do that. will surely fall under another siege. There is a pass to the south which guards the entrance to the Campanian plain. We shall march out and await the enemy. Silanus. Let's. Silanus. Good. We have blocked the road to Rome. The Samnite attack must come through here. Our depleted army can replenish over time while we await their arrival. All right. See so yeah, a proper tutorial. Let us also add to our strength and recruit more troops. I can do that. We can recruit a unit of Astati. We can actually see the stats here as well now. Uh, obviously, can see them here as well. But these guys are slightly experienced, I think. Are they? It doesn't show. It might show. Yeah, because these guys are actually better than these guys. Which is odd. I mean, they had experience, but maybe they lost it. It's always a, it's a tutorial, so things happen for no reason. Anyway, let's get a unit of a The recruits will begin their training immediately, Tribune. Okay. Excellent. In time, we will have plenty of troops to meet the Samnite advance. And to turn... I think I can do that. Let's see what the Samnites, Samnites move are up to. multiple armies. May the gods have mercy if they all attack at once. Surely they won't. They're all a fair distance away from one another. The new recruits have joined our army and are ready to be tested in battle. It will be a while before the Samnites arrive. We should take advantage of the delay and seek to further their training. Uh, okay. Technology. Supply reforms. Refers this technology to unlock the free military technology change. Uh, okay, right. So yeah, that's uh, if you. That's this one. And then we get management, tactics, and siege. And when we do civil, we get uh, economy, philosophy, and construction. But this is our mission right now, so we're going to have to do this. Plus 1% melee defense for all units. That's not a whole lot, but that's all right. Uh, and it enables the building of an auxiliary camp. Cool. More avenues of research and training will become available as our expertise improves. Continued development and learning is vital in the race to keep in step with our enemies. If you say so, sir. Let us also recruit more troops while we wait out the Samnite advance. Okay. I can do that. Another unit of Astarte. Oh, actually, yeah, we can actually have a look here. So, we've got Aquites, Astarte, Principes, Triarii, Filtes, and Levis. Or Levis? Levis? Because I think Levis is L E V Y S, isn't it? Uh, regardless, they are crappy units, so that throw javelins with skill, so they're not... Okay, so right, yeah, it's even a poor man can throw javelin with skill. Alright, so I assume they're levies or something. I'm just going to call them that. Restricted for prologue. Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, end the turn. The Samnites invade Lucanian territory. When the time comes, it'll be an honor to reinforce the Lucanians in battle. We owe them a great debt for Capua. We do, I guess. If you say so, anyway. Alright. Our allies report that the Samnites march with many skirmishers within their ranks. We must consider the balance of our own forces. What are you trying to say? Their light troops will not outrun a horse, no matter how little armor they bear. The barracks in Capua will permit the recruitment of cavalrymen, but it remains damaged from the recent siege. By repairing it and recruiting cavalry, we will give ourselves a powerful advantage. Alright, let us do that. We want to repair 680. Uh, no, we don't want to dismantle it. Cool. Repairs on the barracks are underway. Put the laborers of Capua to another task. A workshop near the front line would be useful. This would supply and maintain better quality armor for our men. Right now, you get to see the whole city develop, which I'm sure you've seen plenty of already. You can see that Capua's cool. city limits grow to accommodate the new construction site. 
Now instruct the laborers to begin the workshop itself. Let's. Excellent. Weapons and armor are always good investments in times of war. I do agree. All right. We must continue to recruit men into the army. The enemy come by road. Oh, sorry. Again, didn't mean to actually do that, but whatever. I'm sure, it's not a big deal. Oh, what's going on over there? They're fighting, and the Lucanian ambush has failed. No, their capital is threatened. We must assist them with haste. Don't we have our own bells to fight? Our over primary here? goal is the defense of Rome. When we have secured our own borders, we can look to assist our allies. Our barracks are repaired, and the stable master sends us horsemen to aid the war effort. Let us recruit more and strengthen further. Let's. All right, so now we can actually build some aquitaise. Cool. Are you ready to serve Rome? Are you ready to serve Rome? And turn. Quick turns there. The Lucanians are defeated. Our allies have fallen and their people enslaved. Well, that's not good. This cruel fate shall not befall Rome. Samnium shall be ground to dust. I swear this to Jupiter. Okay. We have one season to prepare for the Samnite attack, Silanus. Let us fortify our position. Let us. And the defenses. Oh, we're not allowed to recruit The men have started work on a fortified encampment. We have prepared all that we can. There is little left to do but await the enemy arrival. Well, if that is how it is going to be, Pick up your so weapons, it shall man. be. The enemy are upon us. Holy crap. A hundred denarii to the man who brings me the enemy general's sash. To battle! To battle! Right, so they are slightly hurt uh, units. Lots and lots of slingers. Holy crap. Um, bunch of mobs. Yeah, this, I mean, it's pretty much in their favor by a mile, but... Yeah. It's, I, I'm not too worried. Plus, <laughs> because again, I've seen this on the video before already. I know that we're gonna get some extra reinforcements as well. The only funny thing is, is that um, again, the Al Bickham guy who did um, the videos on IGN and, and all those other channels, he actually failed. He did it on three channels and he failed it twice out of three times, which is pretty ridiculous for someone who works on the game. But I'm not judging. Congratulations sort of on your promotion, but proprietor. It was not before time. I am pleased to report that the men are ready to deploy for battle, despite the foul weather we've been down. Oh wow, I just stopped talking all the way through. Good. Our camp blocks this road, and while we hold this position, the enemy cannot pass. Deploy the infantry in a line facing down the valley so that each unit covers the flank of the next. See to it. See to it. I thought you were the general. What, what am I supposed to do here? Anyway, um, right, so we got... Where's our last Aquita unit? I mean, because I, like I said, I know we get some reinforcements in the in the form of horsemen, but I'm pretty sure we had one Aquita unit already in there. Anyway, uh, right, so we are defending this position, um, and the enemy is going to copy, obviously, from there. Uh, this isn't necessarily a great position to defend though. I, I feel like it'd be better if I was to fight up on this hill right here because it gives me a downward slope but I think I'll just set up here for now that will do for now I'll probably move them in a, in a minute uh, right slingers up front oh that's not what I meant to do and time swordsman and my general yeah, anti swordsman can be here we await the General enemy. in the rear. A square. All right, that's a goal. Ah, we have. Send some scouts some forward sort. to observe the sunlight advance, Commander. The brow of the hill obscures our view from here. Okay, I will do that. March. I'm actually gonna Lestati. set up my men right there as well. They do have a lot of skirmishers. Uh. But we have Quick march. awesome men. Yeah, you don't have to run there, actually. Uh, yeah, that will do. General, up on the hill. Italians Hold positions, men! We're here to guard this pass, not chase them back to Samnium. Uh, screw you. I'm gonna do whatever I feel like doing. 
you're just gonna have to deal with that. Alright, so they have some levy skirmishers up front, which don't seem to be moving. Surely some units between there as well, but we just can't see them yet. A bunch of levy slinger, some mob, mob, and Italian swordsman, the spearman, surely. Ah, Lucius Octavius Macer, Italian noble infantry. Let's see if we can actually find the man. This is, my day of glory. Like this is apparently his day of glory. I don't see any obvious people that stand out. I mean, he would either be up the f in the front, in the middle, or on the side. But Rusty armor. I don't no see him. I hear, I hear him talking though, around here somewhere. Whatever. Enough of that. Uh, these guys are still not moving, so I guess they want me to send my skirmishers forward Fire even more. Command. But my men are nearly there, so yeah, I'll just move up. I mean, we only have uh, 240 slingers, so I'm not really too keen on just throwing them away like that. Since they have 8 slingers, I think it was. We really don't want to um, halt. Yeah, I'm not gonna halt. Oh, here we go. The Samnites are sending javelins against us. They mean to disrupt our line before their infantry engage. All right. Well, we can use oh, our cavalry go. to chase them off. They remain hidden from the enemy behind this hill. See, told you. Four units of Aquitaza looks like. That will be plenty. Advance the cavalry to the side of our position. Keep them concealed. Use the brow of the hill or the forest as cover. Okay, but first, is he moving? Yes, it does look like he is definitely Yours moving. To command. Yours to command. You are in Ready not exactly what I told to you to do, man. I don't think. Pretty sure I didn't tell you to do that. Like. Swords! In the name of Rome! Ready yeah, you can fall back a little bit. Advance at speed! Advance at speed. So far, I'm not too impressed with the Slingers yet. I don't really do a whole lot of damage. I'm sure it is because they throw rocks rather than arrows. Well, throwing arrows wouldn't be too effective either, of course, but... I am ready! You understand what I mean? Hmm, I don't really like any of the formations here. Advance that one's speed. a little better. Yeah, a little bit wider. And our cavalry is moving up, but they are going to be very slow before they... Or it's going to be a while before they get there, so I might want to start running them up in a minute. Of course, they say you want to use your cavalry to get rid of these skirmishers, but the entire army is moving up, so if I were to do that... He would be in range in no time. Plus, he has tons of slingers anyway. So if I charge some of them, then the others uh, will just like sh shoot me with rocks, and I don't want that. Not really anyway. Levy! So what do you have? You have quick reload. They're already nearly. Yeah, they're nearly in range. Skirmish mode. Yeah, that, I don't want skirmish mode actually. Understood. And yeah, besides that, formations and all that. This is actually pretty cool. I like that they brought this back from Rome One. Uh, group controls. Trade groups and okay, cool. And melee, I don't want to do melee right now. Uh, horses, yeah, you're gonna have to run for a little bit. I'm sure they don't see you yet anyway. See the little eye above them means they won't. They're not actually seen yet. All right, start throwing rocks at these people. I want to see some actual kills, please. They are just skirmishers. Looks like they throw. Oh, they are actually. That's pretty cool. They put up theirs their um, shield and everything. Again, not doing a whole lot of damage, but we have some casualties now. Oh yeah, they're actually, yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not actually um, too worried about them anymore. They are doing some damage. We are still hidden over there, so let's start walking again, because we are nearly in range now. Uh, and I don't really want to engage my cavalry just yet. Like I said, the their army is too close for me to do anything, really. I want to engage them in melee before anything. These guys are coming up awful close. I'm not sure what they're doing now. Alright, you guys can use your quick reload. Which I assume makes them reload quicker for a short duration or something like that. Equites! Equites! I'm going to have to set up my army. Shift it a little bit to the left here. Or to the right even. Speed. That is also a levy skirmishing unit. Well, you know what? Since they are so close, I might just want to engage them here. I don't really want to make my... Oh, actually, I can... Uh, I can just do here. 
On the other hand, I might want to close them down as fast as possible, really, but... Jupiter gives us strength, the main body of the enemy are advancing, Sardanus. That's fine. I have cavalry all set up over here. Let them approach. That muddy ground will sap their strength. I'm engaged with their range troops now, or at least I thought I was. Not yet. Yeah, the Testudo formation thing, I'm not really uh, used to. Oh, I guess they're uh, skirmishing, that's why. Makes sense. Okay, get these units up forward as well. I just want to get into melee, get rid of these units, and then I'm all good. They are charging in a lot of men very awful quickly. I'm gonna get them over there. I wanna get my cavalry down here now. Alright, let's get into battle. Of course, they are now actually not as weak because they are now at their advantage, but I have my echo base coming in the rear if I can get rid of these units here. And hold your ground. These units are going to take the so much damage. Of and all of Rome itself depends on us. They are, of course, a mob. I'm going to get rid of this unit quickly and then run into the second one. Uh, coastal. Oh, they're already gone. And actually, yeah, charge them in the rear. These guys are dealt with here. Equite is not great for keeping in combat because, but because we are so overwhelming, these guys. It is a general though, so I might want to just pull out and just charge them again. Really, these guys are dealt with. Everything dealt with. That is extremely easy. The Samnites flee, Commander. You are surely fated by the gods. I don't know if, if they. Your no previous leader has driven back the Samnites so quickly. I don't know if they. Um, Soldiers. If they make this easier or something. Victory is ours. It your is. descendants will dine on your achievements here today. When he walks free, the consul will bestow great privileges to you all. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Oh, first time lucky in Optio. Cool. Um, I don't know if they reduced the, the difficulty on this, or I don't know what happened. But, like I said, when watching L from Creative Assembly play it, he failed twice out of three times on video, so... I'm not entirely sure what happened here, but I think they just made it easier or something. Are in order, Proprietor Solanus, for I understand that the Senate have appointed you to lead the invasion of Samnium. An easy choice to make, if I may say. The Senate wish for you to return the settlement of Salernum to us. It was overrun by the Samnites some years ago, and its capture would again give Rome control of Campania. All right. Sounds good to me. So what do you want? You want Samnium. That's over there, right? No, that's Salernum. Salernium, even. No, this is Salernum. I was going to say, I thought it was Salernum. What do you want from me? Oh, wait, hold on. So Yeah, they do want Salernum, right? Sorry, my bad. Uh, hold the following set on Salernum, and we get a thousand bucks from that. The enemy garrison? Yeah, whatever. It's just a mission. It doesn't really matter. Speak Very well. Difference. Send word to Rome that our attack will begin immediately. Immediately, yeah. Actually, probably immediately is probably fine because my army is a lot bigger than what they have here. Uh, right, so we can see our missions we here. We cannot it's pretty cool. train further recruits. The treasury is just too stretched to support greater numbers. Wow. Word may have reached you of some minor concerns regarding Rome's finances, but do not let them distract you from your military duties. Okay, but do I want to just stay here for a turn or two? Let my men recruit. Or uh, replenish even, or do I actually want to go there and just take Salernum? Because, I mean, I'm sure we can deal with them, but why make it more difficult? Of course, they might move up another army, or possibly recruit more men of them of themse for themselves. But, um, yeah, it does say selectively, it's, uh, whatever, I'm just going to end the turn. Alright, looks like they're just standing there. Silanus, we are at war, and you dither in your duty! Salonim is there for the taking! Attack now! Oh my god, I'll take it, jeez. Siege engineers to the fore! Wow, are you serious? Where are these men coming from? Uh, oh, they have fleets raiding. Okay, right, cool. And a bunch of Italian spearmen, mobs, and levy slingers. And the main army is. This guy's a general, mercenary Italian cavalry, Italian spearmen. Ah! Alright, apparently we are even worse off than we were last time, but. Uh, yeah, we can't auto-resolve, we can't encircle, which 
uh, surround settlement and wait and doubt defenders. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's basically just the same as normal. It's a uh, continuous siege. Anyway, I I'm glad I actually waited one turn for my men to replenish because I don't think I would have been able to take. Well, I probably would have. I mean, it's a freaking prologue. They're not going to make it too difficult, are they? But um, it could have been very difficult if I didn't actually replenish some of my men. I think I got like an extra 400 men or something from that one turn. So definitely worth it, I reckon. Then again, I uh, this episode might actually be a little long, depending on how long this fight's going to go on. I think I've only, it's we're about 50 minutes in or something. So weather conditions: current weather, rain. Uh, Archmen out your flaming arrows, arrows. It is more difficult to set fire to buildings and ships, and units take longer to recover from fatigue, fatigue when idle. Uh, we don't have fire arrows, so I'm not too worried about this. So let's take rain. Okay. We gave battle, so we must show aggression. Defeat the enemy army or capture the settlement to claim victory. Right. So they have reinforcements from somewhere. Uh, they have reinforcements from ships. We know that much, and then they have reinforcements from, from somewhere else as well. Um, I reckon I'm not a big fan of splitting up my troops. I'm sure in Rome it's going to be a bit, little bit more useful than it was in Shogun 2, but because of the like the minor settlements don't have walls, so it's going to be easy to just uh, do that. Bring but for now, I'm just going to use my oh, don't want to set up there actually. My single uh, formation. What do you got? Look, two do those two guys just got information. Right, um... Melee infantry at your command! Astati, in a line. Yeah, some of them are actually still pretty hurt. 105, 160. One thing I don't understand is why they took out the numbers in the cards. Like, you have to actually hover over to see how much, uh, how many men they've got left. I mean, I understand this health bar sort of gives me it as well, but it's just a little annoying. I mean, because, for example, Aquitaes have 80 men, so... This health is completely different than their health, even though it's around the same number. They've got a lot less men, which I know, I mean, I know because they're horses, and I know what horses have, but it's still, it's a little annoying. If you understand we what I'm saying. The enemy. Uh, General, you can be with the main body. Italian swordsmen! Italian swordsmen. Where's my Triarii gone, anyway? Did I lose them somewhere? <laughs> like, I mean, did I lose them in a, in a battle, obviously? Not sure what happened there. Anyway. Right. We are come, soldiers! Draw your weapons! Raise a clamor and let the townsfolk know that Salernum gains its freedom this day! Now advance! I am... Um, I'm not a big group... A uh, big group. I'm not a big fan of groups. So you're gonna have to bear with me when I set up my men. I um, like I said normally I do it by selecting everyone and then like you do not have to order each unit individually commander I know I know group the army in a structured formation if it pleases you or assign a portion of it to a subordinate yeah we just we just spoke about that but no thanks um, anyway oh, I'm just gonna keep blinking until I actually do it no it stopped all right good right um, what was I even saying just now uh, yeah, I used to do it by just selecting all of them, putting them in a group, and then, like, on the bottom left in Shogun 2, you were able to just press forward, and then they would all move forward, press backwards, they would all move backwards, side, etc. I would do that, but in this game, it doesn't actually have the option, so I have to do it manually. Of course, I can use groups, I could probably just get, like, start getting used to it again, but I'm not really too bothered about it. This works for now, anyway. So I am wondering where the reinforcements are coming from. Of course, there is line of sight in this uh, game, as you've already seen before. So we may, they may already be on the battlefield, and I just can't see them or something like that. Yeah, it looks like those guys probably just got off boats. Yeah, that's uh, that's an actual captain right there. So we definitely know that that's one of the reinforcement units because they would never make a um, levy unit. A captain, otherwise, unless there's only level units. In this case, there is. I like the line of sight thing. I mean, we 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 had like half line of sight there. We were, <coughs> sorry, we saw that they were there, and see now we see them again. It's really cool. Sorry, my uh, stomach is acting up for some reason. Anyway, and I like that they um, they didn't take out the range indicators, but you have to hold space to actually see them. But that's completely fine by me. Italian spearmen are coming up. Please bring up. Oh, there's some cavalry coming as well. Alright, let's uh, 
Let's pull you back a little bit. I don't have my spearman anymore. I'm a little bit disappointed by that, actually. Um, right. Mercenary cavalry. Riders at the double! Who are you gonna attack? That is the question. Romans ready for duty. Actually, I don't wanna. One unit will be fine here. Unless they're running away. Well, in that case. Nope, they're not gonna run away. What? Make up your mind, Italian cavalry. They are dying pretty quickly. I would have thought they would be better, but they're actually quite crappy. There we go, and they're gone. Riders at the double! Yeah, if you could stop Man shooting. Well, actually, continue shooting now, whatever. Swords. Right, Italian swordsmen, get back. Gives us you guys get back in, in a line. And you guys may move forward again to possibly shoot some men, make them come over here. Give me a chance to shoot them. And then have them run into my men. Kill them off that way. For the gods! Ready and waiting! Melee infantry at your command! Equites! I feel like I might want to use some of my equites over here. Equites! Of course the ability to take off your um, yeah here you go. Toggle mount is uh, back as well, which is really cool. So we've got Draco, bonus versus cavalry, bonus versus elephant bracing. Reduce the effectiveness against mounted units of any nearby enemies for an extended time. Okay. So, oh, that's pretty cool again. Okay, so if I use that, then, and I charge something, then that unit will have less chance of killing me, or, what well, it won't be as good against me. That's pretty cool. Cavalry Testudo. Shield strength, armor strength, but they can't run. Okay, so they can walk forward. That's cool, but not extremely useful. Flying wedge, charge bonus, melee attack, acceleration is down, and melee defense is down. Cool. Um... Alright, let's move these guys up a little bit more again. I want to be able to shoot these Italian spearmen, that'd be good. Probably won't do a lot of damage, but it's mostly just about getting them forward. My range is where they are, so I should be able to shoot them now. I don't know, of course they are slingers, so they will actually hit buildings and all that. But this unit on the side here should maybe be able to throw a rock. No, it doesn't look like they're interested. In that case, I can move over here, probably have a better shot, but of course I'd be in range of their uh, levy skirmishers. Yeah, I thought they had a levy skirmish unit there. So this mob, yeah, basically the same as the peasants in Rome 1, completely useless. But they actually do stand in, in formation, well, in somewhat of a formation now. Before, of course, in Rome 1, they were just a, a circle of men, which was pretty interesting. Anyway, nearly in formation, or in uh, position. Hopefully they're gonna shoot something. Yeah, it does look like they are gonna shoot. Nice. Oh, nice. Tree in the way, but again, it's just about doing either some damage or making them come towards me. And it doesn't look like they're interested in coming towards me right now. Oh, they are in their formation. It looks like they are shooting back, or maybe I saw that wrong. I thought I saw some. Nope, they're just in defensive position. That's fine. Killing some men here. Fine. I mean, I'll take any kills I can get at this point, really. Uh, I'm gonna move up my main army, because it doesn't look like they are really interested in coming for me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, what's really nice about this game, what I've seen in some videos, is that it's really easy to move through, like, you can move through this stuff and move through, maybe, through, no, not through there. But through a lot of things, and in Rome 1, it was like, extremely annoying to maneuver your army around. So anyway, I'm gonna split up my army somewhat here. Double time! No, no, no double time. That's not necessary. You guys can come too. But you're gonna go over here. On me. My Italian swordsmen uh, are gonna go. Romans ready for duty. You guys are gonna go over there. Astarte. And you're Astarte. gonna go with them. I want three units here because this this is probably where their main attack will be at. Doing any damage yet? Oh, look at that! We killed thirty of them. That is definitely worth it. Killed a bunch of their mob as well from uh, stray bullets or rocks, I guess. Of course, the more you hit them, the more their armor will be reduced, like they get less hit points and all that. Oh, it looks like they are actually moving now. It's probably just a reaction to my men coming up there. Ready for so, are they in any sort of defensive position right now, or just moving up normally? 
Wow, that looks really cool. They're in like a perfect position or formation. That's really awesome. Of course, they have their own. Um, uh, what are they called again? A pila or pilum as well. So that will um, throw them as well when they go into battle. They're leaving all their weaker units at the back here. Of course, they do have more units they could go in uh, with reinforcements. And there is uh, his noble unit, which is his uh, leader. But again, I'm just doing damage here. I really don't mind them taking this long to actually do something. There's a unit here, which I can't see what kind of unit it is, but Romans ready for duty. it is a mob unit and a levy skirmish unit and some them. So that you guys get information. Information is very important for. I should probably Say use my peace. general somewhere. Advance at speed. Just have Sons of Mars. We await your command. Uh, talking to Studio. Should really check out what it exactly it does. Okay, they have a lot of reinforcements coming in here, which means Super that they don't have much there, which means I can actually come in and do things. My cavalry can be some sort of use. They have some skirmishes over there. I think that's all they have there as well, so I'm gonna take them. Use them over there as well. Let's see what's going on over here. Do you have some sort of war cry? What does that do? Reduce the enemy's morale for a short time. Sure, go over there and use that. Draw on the. Okay, so he doesn't really have anything besides that. War cry them. Did he actually. Oh, I guess I can hit this select a unit. You, war cry them. There you go. Okay, right, because I actually need my men here now. It's a twin spearman, don't want to actually go for them. Uh, you can go for them. Where's my two other units? I already well, yeah, this is all my units here. To pull some of them through because I need I definitely need some help over here. These two units are losing. Not badly, but a little bit. What's that? The Titan Spearman, yeah, they're coming after my cavalry, that's fine. Deal with those units there. They're coming back for me. These units. Yeah, I can't really send in my uh, my general here. I need to be able to get some units through here once we beat this massive mob, but that's going to be a while. Okay, you're done over here. Uh, let's see if we can get them over here. To charge these men in the back or over here might be better. Let's get over here for now. Oh, actually, yeah, get the capture point. Oh, actually, I don't think cavalry can get the capture point. You need to get over here. Although it looks like we might actually be winning this. We're losing a lot of men, but we are winning this. I should have sent another unit here, but so. Oh, it's actually yeah. This is already dealt with. Nice. We await the enemy. There we go. Let them go, my soldiers. Let them run back to their mountain hideaways and prepare their barricades. Oh, I'm gonna capture more. They Actually, it looks like strength of Rome. maybe we can we do it as cavalry. What was we possible? Come for Rutilus. Rejoice, for we are victorious. We are, but if I can kill some more men for experience, which I can't. All right, Dark of the Bay and Auxilia. Cool. That was a pretty good battle, and it didn't actually last as long as I thought it would. Yeah, we are about an hour in now, so that's perfect. I'm going to end it as I get through this. Listen to whatever he has to say. Yeah, like I say. Loading screen definitely not as long as it's showing to. Proconsul Gaius Fulvius Silanus, your campaign against the Samnites has been so impressive, it's little surprise that the Senate have chosen to place full civil and military power in your hands. No doubt you've heard of the staggering ransom the Samnites are demanding for the return of Consul Rutilus. We cannot consider payment. He must be regained by force. By force. All right. What am I to do right now? Increase you gain the rank. experience from your victories, Silanus. Be sure to make use of your newfound wisdom. Ah, cool. So we actually get abilities, which we knew as general, but didn't know if it was actually in the prologue as well. Then again, it is a prologue to teach me about things, so it does make sense. Right, details. Uh, what's this one? Force details. It's a, okay, we can't do that. General. Oh, right. Okay, I see. Right. 
can actually change the name here as well, can't we? Yeah, but I'm not gonna do that. Not in the, in the prologue anyway. I might not even do it in the actual campaign, I'm not sure yet. Oh, we can change our emblem too. That's pretty cool. But not interested. I'll just stick with whatever this one. Right. Uh, so our first one is Dignitas, which gives us an extra authority. And now a far time. No wife. Oh, that's a shame. Now we get to choose between commander, which gives me plus one authority. Uh, strategist, which gives me plus one cunning, and then we got zeal. Yep, warrior, plus one zeal. Uh, honestly, I don't know what these things do. He who is brave is free. It is more advantageous to overcome the enemy by cunning than by force. And an army of deer led by a lion is more to be feared than an army of lions led by a deer. Uh, I'm not so sure. But yeah, I don't know what these things do exactly. I don't know if there's any way to find out right now. I don't think there would be. Uh, this is yeah, ambition and gravitas. So I don't really know. I don't think, at least not in this in this uh, thing, we can really find out. But we have already have one uh, authority, so it might be worth doing another, putting another point in there. Can I have a look at the encyclopedia? There we go. Plus oh, level one authority. Uh, Level 2, Morale and Authority, and level 3, more Morale and Authority. Um, so let's see, we can go Characters possibly, General. Um, right, but what does Authority do? That's what I want to know. General's Abilities, I don't think that's going to help me. No. Um, I might, I might want to look this up later, I don't, really, I don't really think you guys are really interested in this right now. Yeah, I don't think I can really find it here. Skills? No, I don't think so. Uh, no, because those are yeah again just the, the those things. But anyway, let's let's have a look then. Um, if we go into strategist, that gives us melee defense and cunning. And if we go into oh, warrior, that gives us melee attack and shots per minute for all units. Uh, which one the f was, was the first one again? Authority was morale. Morale's always good. Let's go for some extra morale. Take time to manage your person, Silanus, and those who serve under you. The plebs will rally behind leaders of high standing. Such a figure would be useful now. I'm afraid I bring news that a crisis has arisen in Rome. Oh no, what happened? Rome's treasury has been drained dry by this war. Taxes have been raised and the people neglected. There has been unrest. And matters have come to a head. A revolt is underway. It must be quelled by a show of force. Alright, well, that's a good point to start off on next time, dealing with rebellions. So, for now, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am definitely enjoying this game so far. Um, I'm going to record the rest of the prologue right now as well. Uh, but I'll do it in separate videos. And then I'm going to most likely... Uh, upload everything today so if you see this video then it's highly likely that you'll see the next one and the one after that um, in a few hours or something like that so for now I hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching and I shall see you next time goodbye